In this video, we will be cutting pieces of wood using the element cutting jigs. There are 16 element cutting jigs marked A through to P and uh, they comprise of four pieces. Each element cutting jig is made up of four pieces and they are numbered A1 for example, A2, A3 and A4. So firstly you have to find a set together like all the A's. Then you have to put them in order. A1, A2, A3 and A4. You have to orientate them correctly that the arrows are all in the same direction. Then you start with number 1. You take number 1. You follow that by number 2. Placing number 2 together like that. Then you take number 3. And you place it like that. Then number 4 is placed inside and that's pressed together like that. These are made, they're not glued together so that some of the sticks are slightly bigger or smaller. When you put the stick inside you can squeeze the element cutting jig so that it fits tightly. Once you have assembled A, you can do the same for B, C, D, E, F, G, H, R, J, K, L, M, N, O, and lastly P. Using the element cutting jigs, number A and number B use a full length piece of wood, 130 millimeters or 51 inches long. The jig is placed on the end of the wood with the stencil oriented towards yourself. You take a pencil and you mark the angle and number A, also the directional arrow, like that. The arrow, the number, and the angle is marked like that. To cut the rest of the parts using the element cutting jig, make sure that the timber is of good quality and that there are no knots or blemishes in the timber that you're going to be using. Use an area of the timber that is free of blemishes. Then take your element cutting jig, place it over the timber, and squeeze it lightly so that it doesn't fall off. Now you take a pencil and you mark the special angles and numbers using this element cutting jig. So you can mark that angle mark the arrow And the number, this one is number D. And on, on number D the, and E, there are two sections where you must not apply any glue. These sections are marked with a line to remind you not to place any glue in this area. Now when we remove the element cutting jig, we have the marks on the timber. Once the wood has been marked, it can be cut. You use a small saw and I normally just cut it a little bit on each side and then snap it off like that. Once you have the element marked, you sand it. sand it until the line just disappears. 
after using the machine I use a small hand sander just to remove any loose pieces on the edge and tidy it up.